All right, guys, this is Donnie and Sandra, and we are coming to you from the Jordan Lake. We're coming to you from Jordan Lake, and the, there's three campgrounds. Am I correct? I uh, know there's multiple ones. There's but... multiple ones, but we're yeah. at Crosswinds. We're at Crosswinds Campground. Crosswinds Campground. There's, I believe, a, maybe a campground at every one of these stars. Okay. So yeah, this is this is Jordan Lake, and then they have campgrounds set up all way around it. Okay, but there's three major loops. And in in crosswinds, there's three loops. Oh, in crosswinds, there's yeah. three loops. Yeah. Okay. That I thought there was like just one. We're called no. crosswinds. So in crosswinds, there's three loops. There's mm -hmm. loop A, B, and C. And we're in B, mm -hmm. and we are right here. Yeah. This is where we're at. This is our spot. Now, while we're talking, you're going to see pictures and videos overlaying. And so, boy, do we got some interesting stuff to share with y'all. Mm -hmm. And so, this is a look out the other side where the um, you got a fire ring and a picnic table. The, I tell you what, guys, they do a really good job out here with these um, campsites. And um, very nice. Now, the lake is right over here. Just, just past these trees here. You can literally just walk to it. And... Um, they uh we got our coffee bar set up and so this is another look out of it again i'm just you'll see pictures and um videos overlaying and uh but it's only water and electric yes water and electric only they do have a dump station dump station is, right dump station is really nice mm -hmm. um there two people can dump at the same time. Mm -hmm. And so I, I really do like, they did a good job with that dump station. I'm very impressed with that. Um, now, uh, the shower houses, mm -hmm. the shower houses, boy, I tell you what, I have never experienced showers like this before, it's but very interesting, very interesting showers. These showers, guys, some of these state parks, I know like Stone Mountain mm -hmm. has been having issues with people leaving the water on. Believe it or not, there are those people that will leave the water on um, after they're done or, or children. I know Stone Mountain said that they were having problems with children going into shower houses and just leaving the water on. And so they're wasting water. So what they did is Stone Mountain made it to where when you go in, you, if, if any of you guys remember the... Um, um, the, uh, the sinks where you have to push a button and you only have a little bit of time to wash your hands and then you have to push the button again. That's the way Stone Mountain is. And not unless they've changed that. At the time of this recording, that's the way it was. Well, over here, they have a sensor. They have a sensor that senses the, you around it, around the in shower. And it's uh, in front of it. Yeah. So if you bend you're, down and you're not in front of it anymore, like your body's not right in front of it anymore, it cuts off. It has to be, you have to be standing in front of the sensor and it is highly, highly sensitive. Yes. And so um, um, after I, I tell you what, the shower, now the shower head itself is absolutely spot on. Yes. Now we could not figure out a way to control the temperature of the no. water. The temperature of the water was good. It was, it was it real was good. good. Um, it was nice and hot, but not too hot, mm -hmm. but not too hot. They've regulated that thing just, I mean, perfectly. Um, but, uh, but if you're reaching back in to get the soap, like I did, I was reaching back in after I was already dressed to get the shampoo and soap and stuff. And it sprayed me. It sprayed me. And um, I heard him on my side. Yeah, it it sh it was a shocker. And um, so I I forgot. I forgot that thing is on a sensor. I like it. I do like the fact that they do that because one, they're conserving water. You don't have to be pressing a button a whole time, and the water pressure and the heat and everything is really good. Mm -hmm. Only bad thing is that you're only given a really small area to get dressed, and the shower will get that area wet. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, like that, that at all. Um, they, I believe Don, Donnie and I both went into the handicap. There wasn't anybody in the handicap, and we both went in there and got dressed because it was a Yeah, lot I space. just, there wasn't anybody in there. So yeah. what I did is I took a shower in the shower stall, and then I went into the handicap stall to get dressed. Well, because it, 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 it had a bigger area. It had a so. bigger area. The area to get dressed didn't get wet. It was a it was a nice size area. But the area on the other ones, you're right there. You, I mean, it's after you get your shower, it's all wet. It's mm -hmm. all wet. And so even though there's a curtain right there, that it still sprays on the ground. And so that's the only thing I think they need a bigger area. But, you know, 
overall, overall, I'm not going to complain. If I had to take a shower at this one or Stone Mountain, I'd rather take a shower yeah. at this one here. A similar setup to Stone Mountain, though, as far as like the setup of the of the actual bathroom itself, it's very similar. Yeah. Now, um, we learned that uh, uh, Loop C, mm -hmm. Loop C, guys, has a problem with buzzards. At the time of this recording, they have a really, really um, hard time with the buzzards. Now, uh, we had somebody at the visitor center stop us and talk to us about the buzzard situation. Mm -hmm. um, but they also have um, a, a little poster with some information um, at the bathrooms warning people about the buzzards at Loop C. Now, what happens is the buzzards are attracted to the black seal on campers and um, in, cars. In vehicles, In yeah. vehicles, in mm -hmm. general. They, they, for some reason, they're attracted to these black seals around the windows. And they've done damage the windows. to vehicles and, and campers. Yeah, and they will go over and they'll pick at them. They'll damage, they'll actually damage the vehicles, guys. And so what they're doing is they're setting off firecrackers in the sky. They're mm -hmm. actually shooting fire rockets out into the sky and they're trying to disperse the buzzards in the morning it's because the, apparently they're protected and they can't do anything with them yeah so i'm gonna tell you right now guys if it was me i'd steer clear of loop yeah. c i'd steer clear i don't know if it's more if it's that that one's kind of more out there in the peninsula i'm not sure but but yeah they recommend you like cover your vehicle with a tarp cover your can top of your camper yeah. with a tarp because yeah they have a very i'll tell you i just yeah. I, w I would just avoid it yeah, just avoid it. this area don't even go to and it i don't know if it's did it say it was a certain time of year i don't know i don't know i'm not know. sure but personally me to be on the safe side i would avoid this yeah. area and so um you know you guys could possibly talk to the um the visitor center and ask them what times of years are better i just personally I me either. if you got to go through all that trouble of car Covering your car and your camper, your roof up and stuff. Forget that. I just go and go to A or B. Go to A well, or B. A is not. Um, I don't believe A is RV sites, Donnie. They're well, not electric. Okay. Well, yeah. anyway, um, you um, know, I have a little factoid about Lake J or Jordan Lake. What's that? Um, I work with a lady whose family back before the Civil War mm -hmm. owned all the property that Jordan Lake is on, uh -huh. and they ended up selling it. The state took it over, and they had to move. They're they're dead to Ebenezer Church, which we passed. Hmm. And Ebenezer Church, actually, this is where we were at yesterday. The Ebenezer Church Access State. Yeah, it's a little. It's a, it's yeah. an old church. Um, but anyways, yeah, they had to move all their people in the cemetery over to Ebenezer Church whenever they sold the land. Huh. Mm -hmm. Now the um the cost. Oh, it's um thirty. $30, 30 30 I think it was $30. $30 a night. $30. It's like 33 with tax. Yeah. Okay. Great. I don't know what the dump station fee is. Um we need to find that out because that's something cuz when we start going to these other counties and um, and maybe we didn't, we're not able to dump by the tanks. We some cuz we like I said we live in Rowan County. So we're going to be coming back this way so we may be in the area and may need to dump the tank. So a lot of times we'll check with certain areas, how much do they charge to dump their tanks? Morrow Mountain amazingly charges $20. And then 4B Campground told me they charge $20. If they charge $20 here, we might as well just stay in there. Yeah, yeah. And so I, that's, when, that's the whole thing with it. If you're going to be charged $20 to dump your tank, schedule yourself a whole night. Just pay $10 more and you can stay mm -hmm. for an, a whole night. And so... But other than that, guys, I can't think of anything else right offhand. There is a large eagle population out here. Apparently, there's also a large vulture. Large vultures, but <laughs> there is a large eagle population out here. And so, um, especially in the summer, they can have as many as 70 to 71 eagles out here at the same time. Mm -hmm. And so, there was an observation deck. Oh, yeah. The there observation, observation deck. deck. Show it here. It is... um... Right here. No, right here. Bald Eagle Observation Platform. Right there. Yeah. But they, um, 2022, they had to tear it down because it was, um, it was just too far. Safety issues. Yeah. yeah. They tore it down. We were really hoping to see that. Uh, but they tore it down. They tore it down because of safety issues. So at the time of this video, the recording of it, it no longer exists. 
And so it says it's permanently closed. I guess they just left it here because maybe these are just some old maps. Yeah. And so they so throwing them away just because of that. They just left them up. And so, but other than that, guys, that's it. Um, the Jordan Lake, we are at Crosswinds um, Campground. And oh, there, one more thing, Donnie. There hmm. are several um, duplex sites here. So if you want to like group camp with like your buddy Yeah, they whatever, got a couple of them. Anywhere mm -hmm. there's a triangle, there, there's like two sites together. And they charge you a double night fee. Yeah. Yeah, you can camp together. It's mm -hmm. a larger, larger yeah. site. But other than that, guys, Crosswinds Campground. Crosswinds Campground, Jordan Lake State Park. Um, it's a huge area. Um, lots to see. It. It's just a beautiful area. It is beautiful. I mean, when we got here, we saw a, um, a large amount of waterfowl that mm -hmm. landed in the water. I mean to tell you, mm -hmm. it was a bunch of birds that landed in the water. And we just watched them. They were just diving under the water, getting fish and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, just beautiful, gorgeous area. Beautiful day and beautiful time here. But you guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Check it out. And uh, we hope you guys have safe, have safe travels. And uh, we love you. Y'all take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.